Voila. Here I am. Hello. Hello, everyone. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are Good you? Good evening, teacher. Hello. Oh, Hello, teacher. Running. Uh, fine. Everything is okay. Good. Just uh, my Wi Fi was a little slow today, I guess. But now it's. It's stable, right? So I think it's going to work okay. Okay, good. So how was the day? Nice? Nice, not so nice, very good. Happy? Not so happy? I'm tired, teacher. You're tired. Well, yes, it's, I understand that. It's uh, after four days of work. But you know, tomorrow's Friday, you have a day off, so you can rest in the, in the evening. Okay, you can go to a party in your house. You can have a party in your bedroom. Okay, a uh, pillow party, you know, pillow fight. Okay, do you still do that? Yes? No, come on. Let's see, so you it's good, you know. It's always good to para mantener el, el, el niño interno vivo. <laughs> so it's always good you know, to, to have fun. And what do you usually do? What do you usually do on Friday nights? Like, we, no, like, uh, like when you don't have much to do, for example, okay, tomorrow you don't have class, right? And then, uh, uh, well, I have a class from five to seven. Then tomorrow I am free at seven. Then usually on Fridays, you know, I I uh, like to watch a movie around eight. So I go and look for a nice movie, and I eat the snacks. You know, if I can, I can get uh, I can get a pizza, and and watch a nice movie. Then around eleven, you know, I go I go to sleep. And that's what I try to do on, fr um, on Friday nights. What about you? What are your plans? What are those things that you do on Friday? Or what are you going to do tomorrow? Uh, maybe teacher. Uh, uh -huh. well, I don't have any plans. Mm -hmm. So... Uh, but sometimes my Fridays are really hard on the morning. Okay. But in, in the afternoon, not always, but sometimes I have a uh, homework. Or, or uh, at night I can, for example, play play on my cell phone. Mm -hmm. but it's, it's on or in my cell phone. I, with, I play with, uh-huh. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. Okay. Well, I play games in my cell phone too. You can use them. Okay. Mm -hmm. And or only see, no, or only watch series. Okay. In Netflix. That's only that. Okay, good. Now, if you see here, this was what we were, you know, basically studying in in the first uh, section, right? When we were talking about things that what are you going to? Remember, so we we talk about plans that we have in the for the future, and then uh, this is uh, try to remember, for example, what were those activities. So, what are these people going to do? And then uh, next uh, week, okay. Well, this weekend you're going to have Friday, Saturday, is. Uh, Sunday and Monday and probably Tuesday off. Okay, you're gonna have five days off, five days free of classes, right? So then what are you going to do in these days at night? Oh, yes, what are you going to do when you, when you don't have to study? In this? Teacher, good evening. Good evening. Uh, my plans. In my day off, are go go to the church. Going, going, to the going, church. going to the church. Yes. 
Alright, very good. Uh -huh. That's night and relax. Okay. Yes, teacher. And study too. I need study. I need watch videos. I like watch videos. Okay. Yes. Uh, and other, uh, I would like uh, uh, watch again uh, up, uh, application teacher. How do you say application? App. App, app, app in the, uh, the telephone. App. Yeah. Ah, yes. App uh, cake. It's, it's very good app for uh, app, uh, aprender inglés. To learn, <laughs> ah, to learn. Uh -huh, yes, to learn can. English. To learn. Yes. Okay. Thank you very much. All right. Good. Oh, it was. Sounds like, sounds like a parakeet. Okay. Como que era un periquito. Right. And then uh, the other one. Uh, what about you, Mariela? What are your plans for? I mean, for these days. Uh, I'm going to when well, tomorrow I'm going to to clean my room. Okay. And maybe I'm going to stay in bed. Why not? Okay. Sometimes we have to. Uh, ah, I'm going to write here in the chat. Sometimes, listen to it, I'm going to read this, sometimes, by oh, mayúscula, pero no es, no es que esté gritando. Sometimes it is, it is good to pamper our thoughts. Okay. Read that it says sometimes it is good to pamper ourselves. That means to consent, right? Then you said, okay, I work all day. Uh, right? It's como consentirse, you know, right? Pamper yourself. Like the pampers for children. Okay. So then this is, you know, when we use sometimes this is it's not bad. Pamper. Yes? Pamper medium. <laughs> uh -huh. Yes. Sounds uh, like a very first thing, pamper you, I mean, pamper yourself. Right? So that's the one. What else? What is something else, people, that you're going to do, uh, Adrian? What about you? What are your plans? What are you going to do? What are you going to do when they come for you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, all. Uh, my plan uh, for tomorrow, uh, maybe watch a series or movies. Okay. Uh, and nine and sleep uh and sleep at midnight okay good and have pupusa for dinner <laughs> oh don't say that please yes <laughs> yes pupusas delicious pupusas uh-huh okay so that's what you're going to do okay fine sounds like a nice very nice plan okay you did how about you I want to eat pupusas too. Two. Okay. Now, times three, for tres, right? Times three. Okay, good. So then you are going to do that. Is that your plan for tomorrow? Um, I think I'm going to meet with my family. Okay. To, to eat pupusas for dinner. For dinner, perdón. For dinner, yes. Uh -huh. um, study, study English, practice. Um, and other subjects. Okay. Are you studying in university? No. Oh, no. <laughs> but you like to read and prepare and... Yes, I like to study uh, watching videos. Okay. Reading. Yeah, that's nice. And uh, yeah. remember, right? Whenever you have the chance to watch those videos, do it in English, right? And, yeah. and if, uh, if if it, is, if it is necessary only, you can use the captions, not the subtitles, right? Captions. Okay, thank you very much. Good. And how about you, Estena? What are you planning to do? Hi, teacher. Hello. Uh, tomorrow, I, my plan is 
to see a movie mm -hmm. uh, with my daughter. She likes the scary movie. Um, mm -hmm. and we don't like that, but she like um um and on the weekend. Okay. I would like to to prepare a special food. The last weekend I made a torta de pescado. <laughs> okay. Where, where do you live, Azucena? <laughs> In San Miguel. Oh, oh, I, I go to San Miguel, no problem. You know. If I have, <laughs> okay. Okay. If, if it is for if it, yes, if it is for food, I go. <laughs> okay. 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 I, I will come with that. Okay, and, and the weekend almost um, always we prepare some special uh, about um, uh, ice cream uh, caramel mm -hmm. uh, okay. for the the time hot uh, and in the midday. Yes, at it's noon. At noon, very right? Hot. It's, it's yes, very yes. Hot. And, yes. And, uh, it's all the uh, when the next. Week, pues, I'm well, going to. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm going to uh, rest in the okay. night and prepare the next uh, class. Okay, very good, excellent. Okay, so then these are the things okay. that you are going to do. Thank you, Oxena. Okay. Hello, Jerry. How about you? What are you gonna do? What are you going to do these days? Hello, teacher. Hello. <laughs> Uh, my plans for tomorrow are uncertain. Okay. <laughs> but I, I, I like that. I like that. Improvisation but want, is good. <laughs> uh, but I want to rest and go out for a while mm -hmm. and watch a movie and sleep early. Okay. Do, do you like scary movies? Like, you no know, frightening movies, yeah. like uh, Annabelle, uh, no mucho. Ma Ma Mama, yes, no, me neither, you know, I don't, I, I like to watch them, but during the day, not at night, okay? I am, yes. I am, I am too chicken for that, okay, <laughs> yes, yes, okay, thank you, Jerry, thank you very much. Okay. Okay, good, uh, who else, who else, who else? Evelyn. Elizabeth, how about you? Okay, teacher, my plan for tomorrow, uh, first I'm going to wake up early, okay. uh, then, I'm going, then I'm going to um, clean my house, later I'm going to um, uh, care my, my son, and I'm going to cook the lunch. And later, I'm going to go to visit my my mom. And then I'm going to go the how do you say that kind of? Do you how do you renovar, say? Renovar, renovar. I'm going to get my my ID. I'm going to renew renew my ID. Re I'm going to renew my, my ID. My ID, my ID card. Okay, good. Okay, and um, finally I'm going to sleep. Okay, good. That sounds now nice. sounds like a good plan. Okay, Diego Arturo, how about you? What's your plan? Hi, teacher. And Hello. I don't have I don't have plan for tomorrow, but I believe to watch. Uh, videos in YouTube and I will play video game uh, for for tonight and only that teacher. Only that. Okay, good. Nice. How about you, Smile? I am going to watch movies in English then I am going to listen to music in English <laughs> to learn a second idiom. And I am going to eat pizza, probably. That's life. Okay, that's life. Very good. <laughs> that sounds good, right? Mm -hmm. You know, the, let's say the, uh, to tap it off, you know, this is you know, the, the, the jewel of the crown is the pizza. Okay, good. Nice activities. Good. And what about who else? Emma, 
How about you, Emma? How are you? Good evening. Hello, teacher. What are well, your friends? Um, I have a routine for the work. Break and the routine. Well, uh, I'm going to work tomorrow uh, all day. I come back to my home at seven at night, more or less. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to eat the dinner and then I going to rest. Only that teacher. Only that. Okay. Sounds good too. Nice plans. And how about you, Fernando? And Fernando Bermudez, because the other Fernando is not here. Hello, teacher. Hello. Uh, it's, it's my day. It has been good. Okay. I'm a little tired. I went to work, then to the gym. Mm -hmm. Yep. And I come home to the other thing. All right, good. So you're going to, yeah. and, and then you're going, and tomorrow you're going to work. Yes. Okay. yes. All day. Okay, fine. Thank you. Uh, how about you, Claudia? How are you? Are you okay today? Hello, teacher. Hello. Uh, what is question? What are your plans for this weekend? What are you going to do? Um, uh, my plans uh, is I am going to go to the work, working. I'm going to go to work. Okay. Yeah. And in last night, uh, I going to go to eat pupusas. Okay. I going to eat see watch tv okay you're going to eat six pupusas yeah <laughs> no <laughs> uh, i'm going to eat uh two two pupusas no no um, fat. <laughs> okay good yes yes you're right yes you're right okay good and then you're going to watch tv um i watch tv uh, movies, the comedia. Comedies. In English, yes. Comedies. Comedies. I'm going to watch comedies in English. I'm going yes. to watch comedies in English. Okay, Claudia, that's good. Thank you very much. Okay, I don't know if uh, Aida, did you participate yet? No. What's missing? Aida? I... Yes, no, you haven't participated yes. yet. Yes. Yes, you did? Yes. Okay. I stay home tomorrow. I eat lunch. I'm going, I'm, going, I'm going to eat. I lunch roast chicken. Okay. I read. And you're going to? Only. Okay, only that, okay. Good. Thank you. So I guess that there's no more, right? Okay, good. Now, it, it, this is, uh, for example, remember going to, we use it to talk about plans, right? Plans or prediction. Remember that, right? When we see that something is going to happen, okay, that you can predict, then you say going to. For example, if you see a little girl uh, walking in the street and then you see an angry dog running after her, what can we predict? You see a person, a person walking in the street and then you see a dog running in direction to that person and the dog is angry. What can you predict? What do you think is going to happen? The dog uh, is going to bite the Ex girl. 
Exactly, right? The dog is going to bite the girl. So this is something that we use because you can see the action, right? It probably is not going to happen because the girl is going to react and it's going to probably pick up a, a rock or a stone or probably is going to do something, right? To, to escape from the, it's going to do something to escape from the dog. Okay, but this is, you know, going to. And uh, I think, uh, I don't think you have questions, but if you do, any questions about it? No. No. Okay. Then we have in the section two, probably we have something. Okay, here. What? Oh, that's something else. Hey, miren que buen alumno soy toda la llenando. Con la ayuda de sus respuestas, logré sacar más de 80%. Look. Si quien no va. Look. All of them good, right? Eh? 100% en todo lo que hicimos. Ok, no lo hubiera logrado sin ustedes. Ah, you know, with all your answers that you gave me. <laughs> ok, good. Sure. Uh -huh. Ajá. Solo el mito, como no contesté la de lectura, me salió mal. Yes. I, este, I need, este, yo no, no pude contestar ah, de okay. la 4.2. Usted la hizo, pero yo en ese momento como, o sea, sí lo anoté más o menos, pero no me acuerdo dónde dejé el, el papel donde lo anoté. Uh -huh. Este, pero a mí me falta la, por ejemplo, 4.12. Did you, did you did you to, to go work yesterday? Es verdad. Did no, perdón. Este es, espérame. Es la siguiente. Eh, que me salió mala. Did, sí. En el, en el final yesterday y Wednesday. Ajá, no, es de, la, de las 4.12 es. Ajá, pero el examen. Ah, 4.2. No, no es el examen final. El examen sí. final lo contesté todo. Yes, yes, yes. I know what you mean. I know, did, I know. Did, yo, yo ya lo hice de varias maneras y no sé en qué me equivoco. Did okay. you... Déjeme que... Loading, 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 loading. This one. Esa es. Mm -hmm. Es la, la última dos. Did you, okay. así la tengo, yo no did sé. You, did no you sé. go? Mire, aquí a qué día vimos. Did you go? Puede ser el signo, un espacio de más. ¿La puso en mayúscula? Eh, si. Sí. Did yes. you go to work? Work. work. Yesterday. Yesterday. Uh -huh. Yesterday. Day. Y el uh -huh. signo. Vamos a ver. Porque yo, él ha hecho quini mil veces y no, sí. me sale mala siempre. Y ahorita otra vez, le salió mal. Sí, did, did, did you go to work, work yesterday? Yesterday. Sí, me sale mala y lo tengo con mayúscula. Ok, eh, mándenme, tómale una foto y me la manda al WhatsApp y vea este otro. Did they, did they go to... Did they go to the movie? Movies. Movies. Yes, movies. Right? movies. Ajá, ahí sí me falta la... la, la no, ese. Movies. Ajá. On Wednesday. On Wednesday. Okay. Mm -hmm. Igual me sale mala. Va, entonces mándenme un poquito ahí y ya le. Si yo la he hecho. Para le, le he intentado hacer un montón de veces y, y este. Porque le acepta incluso si usted pone esta con minúscula, que lo, lo correcto es ponerla en mayúscula. 
pero incluso le han dejado que, ¿Sí? que la ponga así. Es aceptable. ¿no? O con mayúscula. Wait, Wednesday. Ajá. Okay, did they, y esto sí, las dos, la de inicio sí tienen que ir en con mayúscula. Did you, ahora, Yo también, no sé. Tenga cuidado también con algún espacio de más, porque si creo que si les pone a veces un espacio de más, con un espacio a veces que le ponga de más, también puede darse la mano. Okay, es, um, voy, voy a hacer un detallito a veces que, que no es por error, y que es, pero está buena, entonces para aquí, miren. Ya salió bueno. Eso quizás me está pasando, pero yo he luchado, he luchado y he luchado. Y, ajá, pero ver porque al inicio se la pone incluso acá. No, aquí al inicio no, pero entre las palabras sí, ahí sí lo penalizo. Tengo el 96% ganado, ajá. pero, pero este. Pero por estas dos no o sea, llega al 100. Por estas dos no llego al 100. Sí, no, está bueno. Este, pero lo puede volver a hacer. Eh, Bórralo todo completamente y, eh, y vuelva a hacer, pero como le digo, con, los spa, con los spa, esto, este, solo este ejercicio. Vale. Claudia, Claudia, Ajá. perdón, Hola. usted mandó el stream al, al, al grupo ahorita. Sí. Por ejemplo, en la penúltima, yesterday, lo tiene como yerday, ya hace falta la S. Es yesterday. Vale, ahorita. Ah, okay. Yesterday, ahorita Ahorita lo arreglo. Ahorita quizás se lo voy borrando. Si sí, he intentado como un montón de veces. Que ah, no tienen sí, idea. ahí está. Did you go to work? Yes. Ay, ahorita. Ay, de gracia, me equivoqué. Uh -huh. No te muevas que me sacaste el sistema. Ya. Ahorita mismo lo arreglo. Okay, you have to say did you go ah, okay. You gave it to work yesterday. <laughs> sí. Es que me, me sacó de la plataforma esta cuestión. And Gracias. the one is, uh -huh. did, did they go? Yes. Did they go to the movies? Mm. They go to the movies? No, I don't know. Eh, well, no puedo entrar ahorita. Me sacó. Ah, pero ahí van a quedar en el eh, chat. Eh, ahí, lo, ahí se la puede dejar en el excelente. chat. Excelente. Para que la... Vaya, muchas gracias. Es la única, la, es la única que me Ajá. falta. Pero como le digo, ahí letrita por letrita la va copiando idéntico. Para que no, porque ahí sí cualquier detalle que ponga malo se lo va, se lo va a penalizar y le va a quitar el punto. Right, say, did you go to the movies? To the movies. The day, ah, well, no, Next day, pero si lo tengo. On well. Ya lo hice, un espacio tenía. Uh -huh. Yesterday. There you go. Sí, thank you. Ok, good. Ok, good. So then, uh, but this is, you know, this is the way that you have to see your, your progress, right? So I've been trying to use so that you can see it and then you will see the percentage. Eh, hoy solo me mandaron un recordatorio. No creo que sea. Me mandan recordatorios en general para que recordarles que todos tienen que estar con la plataforma arriba del 80%. Ya vieron ahí la, el ejemplo, right? De esa. Cómo tiene que estar la display. Okay. So then let's uh, see we were with what's the matter. to review a little bit more.
Okay, remember in this one was the question is what's the matter, what's wrong, how are you, how do you feel? And then we had, for example, vocabulary for uh, expressing feeling. Uh, remember that uh, in order to express feelings, it doesn't have to be all the time bad feelings or bad sensations, right? Sometimes, uh, for example, it could be something positive. For example, today, uh, Ismael, how do you feel today? How do you feel today? You can use I feel or I have. For example, I feel very happy. Um, I have a, I have a nice sensation. Okay. Uh -huh. oh, Sorry, teacher. Que se me había trabado la, la computadora. It's okay. Eh, no problem. I, I feel good. I feel good. Okay, just like the movie, like the song, right? I feel good. Da, 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 da. Good. <laughs> Great. Okay. Um, how about you, Mariela? How do you feel today? I feel tired. Uh, happy at the same time because tomorrow is Friday. <laughs> okay, and the body knows it, right? Yes. <laughs> okay, good. And how about you, Adriana? How do you feel today? I'm fine, teacher. Okay. Uh, feel, have. Which one would you use? If I ask you for example, how do you feel today? I feel great. I feel uh, I feel kind of kind of tired. I feel bored, okay, or boring, okay. What is that sensation? Uh, let's see, Miriam. Miriam looks looks uh, bored. Are you bored? <laughs> Yes, teacher. I feel very, very, very tired. Okay. I have a, a so sleep. I I am sleepy. Um, I am sleepy, teacher. Okay. And I, I want I want to go my bed. Okay. Right good. now. <laughs> <laughs> no, but don't worry. One more hour. One more hour and then we go, okay? 9.30 and we finish. Uh, okay. Yes, teacher. <laughs> and and I, I feel I feel a little sad because uh, uh, it's our last day okay, yes. with you. Okay, good. Yes, me too. Uh -huh. you know, we're going to be missing this group. Okay. No, but probably, probably I will see you next month or in two months. Okay in a near future okay you never know <laughs> okay <laughs> how about you you did teacher, how you I, yes yes tell me tell me tell me miriam and 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 the i how do you say principio teacher Begin I, I don't remember beginning in the begin in beginning i don't understand you uh -huh. me costaba mucho but ah, okay, I, okay. right now right ah you yes you get used to uh -huh, but uh -huh, i right now yes i understand you you understand more yes well this is you know yes. what you do uh, this happens because you we have to get used to listen to to one person the person speaks uh -huh. slowly or the person speaks uh, fast or uh, yes uh, or different ideas yes it's normal okay it's normal uh -huh. that that we feel that we don't understand at the beginning yes okay but that's good now it's good that you understand but uh, that's nice okay judith how about you how do you feel how or what are your I have, feelings i had headache and sore eyes and i feel tired <laughs> okay, but you don't look tired. You you look you you know you look like if you were um, smiling. Uh, always happy. Okay. Yes. Yeah. That's good. You know, it's good to have that feeling all the time. Don't matter what happens. 
Okay. Thank you very much. And how about you, Evelyn, Elizabeth? Um, I think very well, teacher. And I, I feel very tired. And only that, teacher. And only that. Okay, good. And you, Mariela? Tired? <laughs> mm -hmm. Tired, but happy. I oh, know, but you said it already. That pay that tomorrow is Friday. You told me, yes. Yeah, yes, yes. 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 Okay. You don't lose me. <laughs> yes. Yes. I missed. I missed that one. Sorry. And Emma, how about you, Emma? Excuse me, teacher. What is the question? Uh, yes. Uh, what are the feelings that you have? I mean, that that go around you in this moment. Uh, how do you feel? Uh, if you have a headache, if you feel sick, if you feel positive, uh, let's say uh, vibes, positive vibes, or something wrong. What's wrong? Okay. How do you feel in general? Well, I'm relaxed. Mm -hmm. And a few stress. Okay. But in general, I go, I feeling good. Okay. Now, this is a question for everybody. Uh, what kind of music do you like? What is you know that music that of that you prefer? I prefer listen to Luis Perales, but I okay. don't know what kind of music is. What kind of music is it, right? So then uh, I think it's kind of romantic music, right? And maybe yes. Yeah, it's kind of right or slow music. Okay, good. What else? What other kind of music do you listen to, people? Yes, Miriam. Yeah, I like, I prefer uh, Christian music, uh, for example, uh, Adrian, Adrian Romero. Me amaste a I've, mi yes, a I've heard, yes, I've heard about him. Yes, I've heard about him. Yes. Okay, good. What else? What other kind of music do you like? English, Spanish, pop, rock, uh, I don't know, Latin, classical music. Teacher. Group, uh -huh. Group my, part, my favorite gender of music is uh, this classic and, and grunge for 1990. Uh, 1980 s 1980s. 1980s. Okay. Uh, is more, what's it, gender? The, 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 the general. The general. The general music. Uh -huh. Yes, teacher. Okay. Good. It is my favorite band, is uh, Pearl Jam. Pearl Jam. Pearl Jam. Yes. Okay, good. Pearl Jam. Excellent. Okay, movies. What about movies? The scary movies. The scary movies. Okay, scary movies. Which is the scariest movie that you have ever seen? Which is the scariest movie that you have ever seen? I don't remember the name, but... <sighs> no. I don't remember the name. Okay, I remember. It's all about titeres. Uh, como how do you say titeres in English? The Muppets. Uh, Muppets. Sí. Yes, but I don't remember the name. Okay, good. And what about this one? Do you remember this and movie? No. So. I oh. find. Huh? 
Hi-Fi movies. Yes. 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 Hi-Fi movies, right? Yes. Hi-Fi movies of Seoul. Okay. What is another, is a, what is another, uh, let's say, uh, kind of movie that you like? Action, uh, scary. Apocalyptic. Apocal uh -huh, yes, apocalyptic. <laughs> post, there is, uh, there is post-apocalyptic too, right? There is another one. You can have a future, something that uh, movies about the future. Yes, uh, Mariela. Which one, Mariela? I like Marvel movies. Mar yes, of course, Marvel movies are the, you know, mm -hmm. great movies. Yes, great movies. You know, like we were talking about the other day, you know, Spider-Man is one of the best. And, but in general, you know, yes, Marvel but movies. I don't like Spider-Man. Oh my God! Oh, come on, Maria. <laughs> okay. My favorite one is Iron Man. <laughs> okay. Okay. Which is your favorite? Or who is uh, your favorite? Iron Man. Oh, I no, Iron Man is good. <laughs> He's funny, nice. Yeah, it's good too. Yeah, I like that one too. Okay, and then, yes. Uh, movies based on real events. Oh yes, those are good. I like. Yes, historical movies too. Yes, about based on real things. Uh, I mean, they they really they really get to right. They they have they appeal, you know, the the audience have attraction. Yes. Okay. What else? What about? I like. Science? I like the movies. Uh, saga X Men. Oh, the X Men. Yes, X Men. X Men. I like it. <laughs> okay. Good. And I like uh, the, I could say, I'm a comedian. Ah, ¿cómo se llama? Derbez, ¿cómo se llama? Eugenio uh, Derbez. Eugenio Derbez. Uh, 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 he, he has a movie, uh, No Hay Cambio, algo así se llama. No se aceptan revoluciones. Ah, uh, yes, uh -huh. I like no, it. Yes, it's a, I mean, that's a, there, and you know that there is another version of that movie, but it's in France and England. Uh, uh, France and England. Okay. okay. So it's exactly the same movie, but mm. with a different actor. Oh, okay. It's a black man uh, from France, and then he goes to England. Okay. With, with the same case, the same case. Okay. Uh, what else? What, what other kind of movie? It's a, yes, Adrian. The Good Father trilogy. The Godfather. The Godfather. Godfather yes. Yeah, that's an old movie. It's a classic. Right? That's a classic. Yes. How about you, Lisa? You haven't said anything today. Excuse me. Yes. What's your favorite kind of movie? And my favorite movie. I like the movie, for example, the zombie <laughs> and the action, for example. <laughs> what is the name of the, the what is the name of the of the TV series about zombies? Guerra Mundial Z. No, yes, no, but um, yeah, that's a movie. But there is a Netflix, there is a series about it. What's the name of it? Only zombies. And the action, for example, the, the Avengers, okay. I like, I like. Okay, good. Walking the walk, Yes, that's the walking there. Mm -hmm. walk Thank you very much. That's what I was trying to remember. Okay, good. And uh, let's see what else. This is music. Uh, what else? About um, actors or actresses? That probably gets your attention. Okay, hobbies. From the name of the Dead Silence. Oh, okay. She's a she's a victim. Yes. No, this one so is that... for example. This one is for example. I'm going to write it here. Hobbies. Wait. Oh. 
now we're going to practice some vocabulary. Hobbies. What are some? What are those activities that you like to do in your leisure? Leisure time. Okay. The leisure time is the free time that we have. Okay, that's leisure time. Okay, what do what do you like to do? So what do you feel like doing uh, in your leisure time when you have some free time? But no no sleeping, okay? Activities that have some action. For example, teacher, I like to only walk uh -huh. at some place, a park or only some route that in places I know. All right, good. Do you like to walk in the rain? Yes, mm -hmm. but no siempre tengo la oportunidad. Yes, you know, th that's a very nice sensation, you know, that you're walking and, and then to get wet, right? Then you feel very relaxed. Okay, good. What else? What is another activity? Do exercise, teacher. Do exercise, yes, do exercise. Okay, that's a good one. You now do some exercise, go, well, in your house or go to the gym. And what else? Go hiking. Okay, yes, go hiking. You know this one, go a sight, sightseeing. This is when you go out only to, to see, right? You can go, for example, to a Santa Ana volcano. You can go to the South of volcano. You can go to San Salvador for came and just to not to not to the restaurants, not to, just to go and and see the landscapes, right? And see the landscape. That's a a good activity. And sometimes we can also go window shopping. And this one. What is window shopping? Uh -huh. <laughs> yes, exactly. That's correct. Very good. I know how you think vitrinear and then and suddenly you buy something. De repente compra algo, right? Que nunca se va a usar. And then that's something that is when you say go window shopping. Or something that you decide in the moment, right? What else? Yes, visit tourist places. Touristic places, yes, visit touristic places, yes, that's another one. That is like, you know, that uh, go sightseeing or go hiking. Mm -hmm. Yes, Miriam? Yes, teacher, I remember uh, five months ago, I bought uh, two pairs of shoes, uh, but no lo uso. <laughs> I don't, I don't wear, I don't, I don't wear them. Wear them. Yes. Okay. okay, but you know, but that's normal. In women, <laughs> shoes is normal, right? Women love shoes, right? You love shoes. Yes or no? Yes. Okay. So then, uh, you know, they like to have a lot of pairs of shoes and then, okay. And sometimes they wear them all at only one time, just for one party and bye-bye. Okay. I have experience, you know, four sisters, three daughters, one wife, so eight women in my life. So then <laughs> I know, imagine how many pairs of shoes in my house, right? So like a hundred pairs of shoes. Okay, what else? Uh, then uh, what is something else that you, that you can do or that you like to do in your free time? I like movies with my daughters. I like uh, cook for my daughters. 
and I I like relax with 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 them. Okay. Yes. So you you like cooking? I like cooking. I like I love cook cook cooking. Okay. Yes. That's good. Yes. Okay. Then cooking uh, and have fun with the family. So that's another. My family loves my 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 my, my cooking. My cooking. Yes. my cooking. My cooking is the action in general, right? Okay. Okay. Good. Yes. Eh, tengo una pregunta con respecto a la oración que acaba de pronunciar Lili. Eh, cuando tenemos eh, una oración con dos verbos, el primero es, es tengo entendido que está conjugado con sujeto, ¿verdad? Pero ya el, el segundo verbo, eh, ¿cómo lo conjugaríamos? O cómo, o cómo, porque cuando hay dos verbos, eh, no sé, no entiendo eso. A veces me confundo. En una sola oración. Ok. Eh, there are two forms. Ok. Uh, por ejemplo, el, el gerund. Ya, eh, ya saben cuál es el gerund, right? El gerund es el ing. Ok. Eh, y el gerund tiene, let's see, two forms. Eh, que funciona como noun. En, bueno, eh, cuando funciona como noun, se puede decir eh, como subject and object. Por ejemplo, when Miriam says, Miriam says I, my family likes, okay, my family likes my cooking. Okay, le gusta lo que yo cocino. The cooking no tiene que ver nada con cocinando, okay, it's talking about lo que yo cocino, okay, my cooking is great. Okay, mi cocina es buena, pero mi cocina, the food, when you say cooking, no my kitchen, right? But the kitchen is the room, the stove es la cocina, el aparato, right? The stove, and cooking es la cocina de lo que, co de lo que cocino, right? What I prepare. So in English, there are three, you have to make that difference. Okay, this is one thing about the, about me and sentence. But in your case, for example, you can say, I, the, I work, to make money. Entonces, cuando hay dos verbos en una oración, se separan con el to. To make. Y eso lo hace infinitivo. I work to make money. Trabajo para ganar dinero. All right? Uh, I study to learn. Estudio para aprender. Pero hay verbos que son seguidos por formas en ING. Entonces, eso es lo que a veces eh, entiendo su, muy bien su pregunta y es muy buena pregunta porque a veces confunde. Hay que acostumbrarse a ellos y conocerlos. Por ejemplo, cuando se dice, I like cooking o I like to cook. Y hay verbos que se pueden usar las dos formas y son correctas. I like to cook and I like cooking. Las ambas son correctas. Ok. Eh, for example, uh, when you use, uh, I enjoy playing. Entonces, ahí se usa y se dice y se traduce como disfruto jugar, no disfruto jugando. Ok, remember que lo, se va a traducir jugando cuando se utiliza el verbo to be. I am playing. I was playing. Ahí sí. Estoy jugando, estaba jugando. Pero cuando va después de otro verbo, puede ser un sustantivo o puede ser un verbo seguido por ing. Entonces siempre va a ser, eh, a veces se pone al inicio. You can say, smoking is bad for your health. Y ahí quiere decir, fumar es malo para la salud. Smoking is bad for your health. Ok. Then, eh, ahí está como sujeto de la oración. Ok. Cooking is one, is my favorite hobby. Cocinar, ahí está como sujeto de la oración. Cooking is the, is the, Let's say it's my hobby, my, the hobby that I enjoy the most. Okay, cooking is the best for me. Cocinar es lo mejor para mí. Okay, so then you, you use it at the beginning. Y se puede usar como objeto. Okay, for example, we say, I, for example, you can say, I, I, I will, uh, I enjoy flying. Disfruto volar. Obviously, 
on an airplane, right? Okay, you say, I enjoy flying. You say, disfruto volar. No disfruto volando. Now you can say, I enjoy when I am flying. Okay, so yeah, it's different. Disfruto cuando estoy volando. Okay, obviously, va en un avión. Okay, entonces esas formas son las que, las que confunden a veces. Pero recuerden que el ING se va a ver cuando, eh, cuando digamos, no lleva el verbo to be. Estamos hablando de un sustantivo y que puede ser sujeto o el objeto de una oración. Y más adelante van a ver una lista de verbos que, se, sí, que son seguidos por formas en ING siempre. Entonces, y hay otros que van seguidos por la forma infinitiva de to. Y hay otros que son, las dos formas son correctas. Hay otros que las dos formas son correctas, pero el significado cambia. Por o sea, ejemplo, dicho que no en todos los verbos este, voy a utilizar el to, sino que también lo tengo que conjugar con el ing. Algunos así será, exacto. Y para eso hay una lista. No hay una regla específica que le diga estos verbos son así, estos verbos, eso sí no. Entonces, la única forma de hacerlo es ponerlo en práctica y que sepa que cuando vea esa estructura es porque, ah, ok, pero significa esto, sí es correcta, pero usted ya va a saber de qué es porque hay unos verbos que así son en inglés que son seguidos por ING. Por ejemplo, si yo le digo a usted, I stopped smoking, eh, quiere decir que dejé de fumar. I stopped smoking. Pero si le digo, I stopped to smoke, Quiere decir que me dejé de hacer algo para fumar. I stopped the class to smoke. Ok, so then, ok, wait for me guys, I'll come back. Then, when, smoke and come back. And then, but, I stopped, I quit, I stopped smoking uh, 30 years ago, 20 years ago. No more. O sea, la, se ocupa una con tú y otra con ING. Pero el significado cambia. Y cuando digo, I like cooking and I like to cook, ahí las dos son correctas, pero el significado no cambia. ¿Ok? Entonces se van a, van a, dar, más, eh, se van a dar cuenta más adelante de este tipo de verbos, ¿verdad? Que, que hay unas, que hay, hay listas, hay una lista de verbos que se puede usar así, pero no hay una regla que le diga. La única regla que sí existe es que cuando usted usa una preposición, in, on, after, before, about, for, eh, what else? Eh, eh, we can use the, well, those ones, van a utilizar los verbos, y si después de eso necesito un verbo, es ING. For example, thank you for telling me. Thank you for coming. Gracias por venir. Thank you for letting me know. Gracias por avisarme. Eh, but I am interested in learning English. In learning English, no in to learn English. Estoy interesado en aprender. I am interested in learning. No, I am interested in, in to learn. Okay, preposición, verbo en ing. Okay, I am work. Eh, let's say, for example, I am. Uh, let me see another one. Uh, I, I, I am thinking about going to the United States tomorrow. I am thinking, estoy planeando, going to, about, estoy pensando en, o acerca de, going to the United States. Ok. So, entonces, hay variación. No siempre va a ser lo mismo. Ok. Sorry for the extension of the answer. Ok. Any other question? No, teacher. No, no more. All right, people. So thank you very much then for your attention, right? To this, que me han aguantado 16 días, imagínense. imagínense. Tienen aguante, ya vi. Ok, si aguantaron eso, pueden aguantar cualquier cosa, así que no. Pueden, incluso hasta pueden aprender chino. Ok, after, after all this. Ok, stay good. By stay. <laughs> yes. Okay, any questions, comments, or oh, queja, alguna queja, algún, something that you want to say before we go?
No? Okay, people. So then this is the end. Uh, no, it was a it was a pleasure. Thank you very much for for your time. Uh, I hope we can I can see you in another level, right? Later. And please Please, please practice your English, watch movies in English, listen to music in English, read in English. Okay, that, those, that's something that you have to do every day. Okay, so bye-bye. Have a good night. Dream, dream in English. Good night, teacher. And I see you. Thank you. See you in the future. Bye-bye. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.